Hey there tubers, from the 64 back over to the BBC Micro. Here is my standard beep. Bit of Defender aka Planetoid. Very good home conversion in fact. I must do a video on the BBC Micro. Awesome arcade conversions. This is spot on. But that's not why we're here. Let's reset this bad boy. I now go star FX two three zero comma fifteen. Voila! I now have a 1 GHz ARM coprocessor on my standard beep. We now go I've now got Pandora 32000 with a megabyte of RAM so that's two different processors so far Then if we go to 12, we've now got an ARM2 coprocessor with 4 megabytes. Here we go, we've now got a 6809 with 64K of RAM. There it is. Oops. And look at that. We now have an 8286 with 960K that can run. It's kind of a DOS ish based operating system. I will put a link in the description to a much more detailed account of all of these but uh, I just fancied showing off to be honest <laughs> anyway almost there now we have a Z80 processor Z80 tube and obviously we're using 80 columns so of course with that you would need CPM discs which I don't have and I'm not really interested in but if you are you've got it and almost there. So now we've got a tube 6502. So I've got three versions of these. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the timing of the CPU. I might have to be a little bit patient, but it's interesting stuff. There we go, 84 megahertz, 88 megahertz. Ninety-four megahertz. So from the two megahertz B we're now running at ninety-four. Now what we can do is this look how fast and nice that is let's take a look around the universe <laughs> this always happens when you make a video believe me so yeah, look at the speed of this bad boy it's almost too fast. So I've now hit the brakes. What I'll do is shoot the space station. Should annoy a few people. And we'll get some action. Brakes on. <laughs> I 
and you see because it's so fast we've got a huge bunch of ships doing absolutely bananas rage mode wow well I don't, think, don't know if that was a good demonstration but just to finish off if we go to um, this one now I've got a standard second processor running at 3 megahertz. Just quickly show you that. So this will be a little bit slower than the last test. There we go, so that's 3 megahertz. And finally, for the sake of completion, so in total, we've got. Yeah, look at that, 266, 274 megahertz, 287. So we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different coprocessors. And you'd think that would cost me thousands of pounds, a coprocessor, even on eBay at present, is around 150 to 200. This is a £30 Raspberry Pi, which is everything you need, and that will give you, I'll try and show you it here, but I oh know, can't see, I'll put a link in the description, but um, with a £30 um, Raspberry Pi Copro, you get the Raspberry Pi.